A very good day to Miss I. So, as a group, we were given the task to study who moves my cheese. But before I get into it, my name is Anushka. I'm from Mascom. So, as we were given the task to study who moves my cheese, the story is based on two mice named Sniff and Scurry and two little men who were named Hem and Hawk. So insignificant to how they apply to the story is Sniff and Scurry are two mice that go into a maze to search for cheese. That is the main theme of the story. But the main theme is change and how we accept change and apply it to our lives. The cheese is a metaphor for what we want in life and what makes us happy. The maze is a metaphor for how we are going to get to where we want to achieve and how we're going to get there. So, in a way, it applies to our daily lives as people, even though it's just a story, but it connects with us and it applies to how we think and how we act towards things. So, change is not something that is only happening now. It is something that's constant. It happens every day. It's not something that is forever to be stagnant. It is constant, it is permanent, it happens. As people, we have to accept it. And the main theme of the story is to accept change and to embrace it, not to fear it. So I'll pass the next slide to my team member. Hi, my name is Yuan Cheng. For our group, we were given a task, which is you have to choose a character among four. We chose Hall because we think that Hall is a very good character. and. If we follow him, we will be successful in our life. So, based on the story, we know that the cheese will move. How represents to move on first, and he move out from the cheeseless station and explore for the better cheese. While he was having this idea, he asked Ham to join in him, but Ham refused because Ham thinks that he wants things to be just the way they were inside the original place and him having a negative thinking but Hall have a positive thinking. Hall learns to fit in when he sees changing leads him to something better. So I'll pass it to my next member. Thank you. My name is Kim. So about the story Who Moved My Cheese featured by four characters which are two mice named Sniff and Scurry and the other two little people named Ham and Hall. A character that I think had shown characteristics are Hall. The reason why I'm choosing him is because Hall is a unifier style. He got the ability to emphasize and get well to each other. From the story, it is Hall who follows Sniff and Scurry but all of that is concerned about where Ham is and what Ham is doing. So eventually, he left the writings on the wall and decided to encourage Ham to follow. From the story, we saw that Hall deal with the changes differently than the others. He is willing to let go the past and to do better and learn from mistakes. And he quick to let go old behavior and do better. And it is my belief that the better we know each other, the better we can face changes, help each other and increase our chances to experiencing success. Not only that, from the video, we also learn the personal growth, which means we grow and we learn new things uh, every time something change. And we learn lessons from changes, even though that did not lead us from where we wanted to be. And thus, Hall is a good example to be success in our life. Thank you. Hi, I'm Shamala. Today I'm going to talk about the second reason of who moved my cheese, and it's about Hall. Hall has the ability to empathize and to connect well with others. For example, Hall is the one who chose to follow Sniff and Scurry uh, to find new cheese. While when they are finding new cheese, Hall was worried about him. He was concerned that he left his friend back. So while uh, to help him, he thought of writing ways in the wall so that when Ham realizes his mistake, he will find his way to reunite, reunite with Hall. So that's all for, from me. So I'm going to pass it out to my next member. Thank you. So the next question we were given was, 
how it has impacted our lives and how we apply it to our daily lives. So in my personal opinion, change will impact my life by giving me the constant push to move forward and never settle for less. What I mean by this is, sometimes we all get too comfortable in our comfort zones where we don't find the need to push ourselves out of it. So we just be stuck in one position and we never ever accept change. But change has become something that has taught me to be positive instead of being negative. And how would I have applied it? Uh, I would apply it in my daily life by constantly reminding myself to not fear change but to embrace it. For example, if a friend were to ask me to try something out of my comfort zone, I would usually have said no, but with implementing such positive notions into my life, I would definitely give it a try. What I mean by this is, uh, given the situation, let's say if a friend would have asked me to try swimming and I did not swim for one, I would have actually said no, but after reading and doing a lot of research on who moved my cheese and the main theme and the story and the reason behind it, it made me realize that if I don't go forward with change to be accepted towards it, I could never know what could be better for me or how it would better me as a person. So in my opinion, that's how I would apply to my daily life, to never say no to change but to embrace it. Uh, moving on to the next slide, uh, my ugly member will tell you how it has impacted their lives and how they apply it. Yeah, uh, hello everyone, my name is Carl, so um, I'm talking about change here. So actually the idea of changing is having a huge impact to me also because of, I think change is the process of growing up because what you're changing is what you're learning actually. So change impact my life if last time if I didn't step out of my comfort zone, I think I wouldn't be learning so much like um, if we didn't step out of comfort zone when we were still a child, we might not know how to write, we might not know how to, know how to walk, we might know, not know how to talk to each other, how to communicate to others. So I find that learning, uh, changing is actually a process of learning and a motivation to seeing a new things and new moods every day. So um, as I will apply critical thinking in my life to seeing things in a different perspective, different way, because I feel like um, there's a part of growing and then it actually helps you to solve problems when you see much more things in much more different perspective. You see things in a different perspective, let's say in pe other people's perspective that will help you to stand in their sight to see what's the problem and then you can solve it with them. It's and not creating a problem. So I think that's what I want to uh, present about change. So that's all. Hi, I'm Shamla. So change, how change affect my life? So if, to tell the truth, everyone go through change, okay? Like if without change, I'm not who I am now. Okay, I'll give an example to make it more clearer. And for example, if I go through some financial losses, I will not have the effort to look for a work, but to accept the change, I will look for a work to sustain myself. So if you go through some problems or what you like, not stop from for it, right? So you'll just have to like go through, find a new way uh, to deal with it. So I think that's all from me. Thank you. So now I'm going to pass it off. With how I think change will impact my life. For me, change is a self-enhancement. Change might not be easy and sometimes it might not be good. But if you never give up on changing something to a better one, it will be success one day. Although you might fail or lose, but you will learn from your loss and you will reach your success one day. Just don't give up and never afraid of trying. Change makes someone think positive. Change is a chance for us to be someone better. Let's not hide when we meet difficulties. Be brave to change. Change teaches us to learn how to accept facts when, when there's a problem. 
and change is a lesson in our life. It is not a ways for us to learn something new. And for the critical thinking, critical thinking is very important for, to our life. Without it, we will not we will not think wise when we're doing something. So with critical thinking, we will think smart and also think for the future. Like for example, when we want to buy something like household or clothes, we need to think about it, about the values, the advantage before we choose to buy it. So as a conclusion, one of our favorite quotes from the story was um, to monitor change in your cheese and prepare yourself accordingly. So when changes your cheese will happen, you'll be ready for when it comes. What it means by that is when you are constantly at one and at position with your cheese. When I say cheese, I mean by your current situation and where you are as a person in life at the moment. If you are one with where you are with life and you are accepting towards what the situation is, you will move and you will be ready to move along whatever may come in your way. So the main quote from the book was, Carl? So the main quotes that come from the book was, when you move beyond fear, you feel free. What it means is, um, actually, the fear is just a challenge to you, so you must move along it. So just face it and challenge it. It actually gives you some freedom and happiness after you do it. It's like you are when you are facing something, but after that you solve it, is you feel like okay, this problem is not a problem anymore. It's a process of my learning, it's a process of what I've been through, it's a story that I can tell everyone that what I've come through and then help everyone. So there's an example that Hall try to help Ham, but then Ham is blocked by his own fear, so that's why he can't find a cheese. So, so yeah, yeah that's that, all. That's our favorite quote. So to conclude it all, we would like to thank Miss Ayn for the task, and she has taught us a lot. Uh, so thank you for your time, Miss. Thank you.